Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cotterell here at Niagara, top team in St. Catharines, Ontario, with the genius, Anthony Romero. Anthony, thank you for speaking with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. So I just watched, uh, well, I caught the tail end of the Thursday practice. It wasn't quite as busy room as the Monday practices, which are quite intense. Uh, you're just, uh, you know, a week and change away, two weeks away, maybe from your PFL fight against Olivier Aubé Mercier uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Tell me how you're feeling right now, uh, you know, Closing it on the fight. Oh, I'm feeling great. Uh, last uh, last couple sessions before the big uh, big fight, and uh, yeah, just just feeling great. Everything's coming together and ready to rock. So, nice. like a week or so ago, I asked you. I, I know when this fight was announced, there's quite a few people, me included, who just shook our heads a little bit because we hate seeing Canadians fight each other in a in a bigger organization. You know, there's so many fighters, but this is kind of unique because it's the tournament style, and of course, it's for the million dollar contract. Uh, and you getting a shot at Olivier, who's last year's champion. It's a, it's a great opportunity for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great way to start off, uh, showcase who I am. I've been in this game for, for quite a while, and uh, it's really great to have the, I guess you could say the top dog, the champion, mm -hmm. and uh, for me to take that spot, it's just a great way to start. So Yeah, of course. Now, um, I've talked with other fans in the past, too, about this fight as well, and about fighting in general, and when they take a look at you in particular, you've had a lot of success, uh, but you've also had a, a huge disappointment. You were in Dana White's Contender Series, you dominated that fight, you won the whole thing, and then you didn't get the contract. And now... I'm sure you were disappointed at the time, but I'm wondering if you're coming to that realization yet or if you're even aware that so many fighters recognize that there are huge opportunities outside the UFC that can even get you more money and more opportunity. And I'm wondering like, where you are with that. Like, tell me about the, 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 the shift from any disappointment you might have had to where you are now. Yeah, um, when I look when I look back now, I can tell like it was all for a reason. Like I didn't get into UFC, I didn't get like it, it makes this moment feel much better. Mm -hmm. Like if it was just handed to me, like not handed to me, but I mean if I just won and got a contract, it wouldn't feel as special. Yeah. I feel like having to go through those downs like really made this feel even better. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm really really appreciative of those moments, and it, I think it kind of makes you think of if you really want to be in the sport, uh, mm -hmm. and I do. So I, I realize that. So. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing about you is that I think you, well, you're called the genius, so you're a smart guy, and you've got a great team around you, Niagara top team, and you've got your own gym, Genius MMA in, uh, Port, is it, it's well in, no, Port Colburn, Port Colburn, that's right. So, uh, smart fighters analyze their past performances and improve on things. So Dana White, when he said you're not ready yet, uh, one of the things that was talked about was that you didn't show that killer instinct at, at the end of the fight. Like, perhaps, like this is what he said, perhaps you could have gone a little stronger and gotten the finish. And in the past couple of fights, we've seen a big, I've noticed a big shift in you anyway. Like, that flying knee knockout was incredible. So is that something you've actually had to tell yourself to maybe go a little bit harder at the end of a fight? Yeah, just going a little harder in practice. Um, I, I'm not trying to force things because I feel like that's when things start to fall apart. Um, I find, like, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. And uh, I'm always looking for it. So, um, But I'm not going to expose myself to a point where I'm going to get it back myself, right? So yeah. uh, just taking that smart approach and uh, just being patient. So. Something else is you're not the cockiest guy. You see some fighters out there are super cocky. You're very respectful. You're kind. You're, you're kind of quiet. And one of your last fights I saw, like, after you, oh, I was the flying knee knockout, I think you went to the edge of the cage and you're screaming, you know, whatever you were shouting at the, at the, at the people there, like, yeah, yeah. make sure you know who Anthony Romero is. Does that come natural to you or is that also something you have to kind of work on? Yeah, it's just in the moment. Like, it's a, it's a different feeling. I think it's the, the adrenaline that runs through your body. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of pent-up energy, like through the training camp and everything, like to finally get that reward. Like you just gotta let it go. You can't keep it in, um, and that, that's the moment. Um, I don't do it all the time, so I think it's it's uh, worth it for that moment. So I think you're right because the fans, there's so much, so much out there, so many fighters out there. It's important for fans to be able to look at something or somebody and you know attach themselves to that fighter. And, and you know, you doing kind of stuff like that. I mean, maybe that's something that'll bring them into you and make them a fan of Anthony Romero. Yeah, exactly. I'm not the the biggest talker, but uh, after the fight, then uh, like I said, it's it's worth it to to let it go. So. Now, uh, the end of the interview, so we're at Niagara Top Team, obviously. This team, for fans, probably everybody who's watching this channel knows about Niagara Top Team, and they know what an incredible gym it is. What's it like for you knowing that you can come to practice every week, multiple times every week, and have UFC fighters here, have Bellator fighters here, have PFL fighters here, have fighters from every uh, organization across Canada, and having a high level here. What's it like having that in your back pocket? Yeah, we're very fortunate to, to have this environment. Uh, the coaching staff is, is a solid group of guys, um, and you can tell like people are going to the UFC. It's not like they were already in the UFC and they, they started here. Like They started at the regional scene, amateur, and they built their, them to that UFC level, or Bellator, PFL. Um, so you can tell like those are the, the best coaches. It's easy to be a coach and just get someone who's very talented and they're already at that level um, but to build someone up it's it's a different different type of coach so yeah for sure now without giving away any 
secrets leading up to the fight. Uh, tell the fans how you uh, see Olivier as an opponent and what you think you might have to do in order to get the win. Yeah, Olivier is the champion. He's uh, the champion for a reason, so he's a solid, uh, solid competitor. Um, I got to be confident in my fight and believe uh, in myself because he is the champion. Um, and I, I, I feel a second round finish is, is going to happen, regardless if it's submission or, or knockout. Um, I can see it happening, and uh, I'm just excited to turn it to reality. So. Okay, well, before we go, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Any fans, any people, any family, any sponsors? Yeah, just thank you to my team, Niagara Top Team, always here helping me out. Um, my coaches, family, uh, my fiance, uh, thank you for this interview. Uh, thank you to uh, Precision Roofing, a uh, big sponsor for this fight. They'll be on my shorts and on my shirt. Uh, so thank you to them. Uh, and yeah, just uh, tune in uh, June 23rd. So. Nice, man. Well, there you go, folks. You heard it from the mouth of the genius himself. June 23rd, Atlanta, Georgia, PFL against Olivier Aubin-Mercier. Wish him luck and make sure you watch it on TV or pay-per-view or wherever you can find it.